So number 13 from paper 2 of the 2023 advanced tyre. It's a six mark question for differential equation modelling. And the point scored, etc. is given by this differential equation. Gives you a pair of values here. And what you have to do is find P in terms of M. In other words, solve that differential equation. Well, that's the case where the variables are separable. You can put all the P's on one side and all the M's on the other. So DP over the P would be 1.4. Best just leaving that there. The DM will come on top. And the M minus 220 will go underneath. Oh, so integrate both sides. Oh, pop that out of there. Well, that's there, just logs. That's just LNP, and P is a positive amount, so I don't need to put anything around it. And that'll be 1.4, and that's another log. And that's also safe, because it tells you that M's greater than 220, so that'll never be zero or negative. So M minus 220. But, annoyingly, plus C. Because without that C, that would have tied it up really nicely. Well, you just have to use a little bit of contrivance here. So 1.4, I could have popped that, doesn't matter, I've got to do another step. Right, minus 220, but you can make that into a log to join the rest of the logs just by making that ln of e to the c. I don't want to work that out just now, because it would just, I could have worked it out there, because I'll just be carrying a decimal through it all. Now I can tidy this side up, because that can pop inside. I could actually do two stages in one. Uh, that can pop inside. Now that you've got the exposed logs, they can add together to make a single log of e to the c times m minus 221.4. And since they're equivalent to each other, the logarithms of whatever, the whatevers must be the same. That p must be e to the c, m minus 220 to the power 1.4. Now you're almost there. Not an awful lot to this six marks, really. Because now I just take these figures and put them in. I'll do it this side. 1079 will be, I don't know what e to the c is, but that will be 807 minus 221.4. So that will give me e to the c from that, because that will be 1079 divided by, don't need to work that out, really. You'll be pressing lots of buttons anyway. Oops. 1.4. And then that will be it done. So that gives you 0 0.1435 and so on. Don't have many figures to leave it, but this is my final answer. You don't need to find what C is. You just want to know this number. So that will be 0 0.14, depends how much you want to put down, 144, 1435, because after that 5, it was just a 2. Or maybe I'll put four figures in here. Of M minus 220 to the power 1.4, and that's it. Number 14 then, from paper 2 of the 2023, for four marks here, a complex number is given in this form of a, so you don't know either of the parts, but the square of it is 8 plus 6i. If that's the case, what's the values of a and b, what are the two parts of that complex, or what is that complex number, in other words? But it tells you a and b are positive real numbers. They'd have to be real numbers anyway to be there. Well, what would, what's w squared first of all? Well, w squared would be a plus ib squared. So square the first. Twice the product, so it'll be plus 2abi. Square the last, but i squared is negative one, so it'll be minus b squared. Well, that means now you can compare the two. We'll just write it here. 8 plus 6i. Well, if that's the case, then you can take the real parts. The real parts would say you've got a squared minus b squared would be 8, and the imaginary parts say that 2ab is equal to 6. So you've got a pair of equations and two variables. Well, you could rearrange this one to read b, since that's been subtracted. b is going to equal 6 over, so that's 3 over a, and then you could substitute that in there. So a minus 3 over a squared will be 8, 
So that's a squared minus 9 over a squared is 8. Now I have to multiply them by a squared. So a to the power 4 minus 9 is 8a squared. I'll bring that over because you've actually just got a little quadratic here. I've got a quadratic in a squared. But you do know that a is greater than 0 when it's real. So that will be a squared times a squared. It'll have to be 1 and 9. It'll be minus the 9 but plus the 1. Now that can't give you an answer, not if a is real. So this is the one that's going to give the answer. So I'll put it across there. So that means that a squared equals 9, which means a is 3 because it told you that a was greater than 0. So there's your first answer. Now you can go back up here. So that means that b is going to be 3 over 3. So b is going to be 1.